Hi Capricorn, welcome to your July 2018 reading. We're halfway through the year and it is currently, as I'm filming this, it is the summer solstice. It is the 21st of July, which means the sun is currently moving into Cancer. Warm, fuzzy Cancer for you because this is your seventh house, house of balance, house of partnerships, Gemini, duplicity energy, feeling very up and down the last few weeks, I imagine, Capricorn. Um, you're finally getting that balance. Seventh house is all about balance. If you've been feeling completely off center, this is where you start to align yourself again and feel like you can breathe. Cancer energy for you guys is going to be a lot more charming. Uh, Venus is also in Virgo, which is your ninth house, I believe. Um, fellow Earth sign energy. So romance is going to be taking a positive turn, a little bit more easier to deal with, depending on your Venus, because sometimes if you're a Capricorn, your Venus is very conflicted. With Virgo, it may not feel as smooth sailing, but for most of you, I think this is going to be a pretty nice month. The only issues that arise are the full moon in Aquarius at the end of the month, which can result in unexpected developments or surprises in finance. Um, Mars is also retrograding through Aquarius, which is your house of money. And your with Mercury going retrograde in your eighth house, which is other people's money, uh, there may be a few hiccups and a few letters here and there and just a few like, um, you know, Mercury retrograde type problems. We all know it. We know it off by heart now. We know what happens. Um, so with that in mind, let's dwell into it. Let's see. Okay. So, first card off the bat is the Seven of Swords. This is following on from last month. Now, as I've said in the other readings, sometimes messages repeat themselves from month to month because not every month is that different from the last. Things follow through. You know, you don't begin again every single month with a new situation. Still a little bit of something funny going on here. Um... You know, for a lot of people, this card is very much about deception and it's about lies. There may be someone in your environment that you're feeling is a little bit toxic or a bit insincere. Page of Wands, it may be a fire sign or it may be a message. You may feel like someone's just being off um, in your communication. You're sensing something's up. It could be somebody at work with the Page of Wands, but this is what's crossing you. So the messages aren't quite coming through. I think you're sensing a very potent difference between what someone's saying and what they're doing is what I'm thinking. Page of Wands would be an active little fellow, like he would be doing things and acting in a certain way. When he's crossing you, the actions are the problem. You feel like they're not marrying up with what this person's actually telling you. Ten of Swords in the past position. This may be stemming on from a past fear of hurt. This may be a decision that's recently hurt you quite badly but you're not receiving messages right, Capricorn is what I'm thinking. You're not quite seeing this for what it is, or you're pulling past fears into new relationships, or you are realizing that the past has been repeating itself somewhat. Three of Cups is up here as well, so I feel like this is something to do with, it could be colleagues, it could be friends, Nine of Cups is coming up here, so there's good news coming in as well. The Hanged Man, Blaze, and the Five of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, the Devil's underneath as well. So I feel like there has been something on your mind, Capricorn, that you've been obsessing over. There may also, for some of you, have been a, you know, Devil's your energy as well, bear in mind. This is your card. Um, there may have been a very toxic person in your past. Now, we a lot of us have them. Uh, so it's not always a surprise when this comes up. But with the Devil and the Ten of Swords, um, for some of you, and this is a minute, a minute few, I feel like some of you are refusing help. I feel like some of you have been actually quite damaged by a very negative relationship and you're refusing to do anything about it or you're refusing to receive help or guidance, possibly from your friends. 
It may also be that the friends around you can see things that you can't and you're relying on their opinions and their judgment rather than your own. You're not, um, it's either or, you're not listening to the people around you or you are relying on them. It's a, it's either or. I feel like there may be an issue with delaying a conversation. I think this month may not be the month to act on a whim because with the five of swords and the five of wands, I always see it as making a wrong decision in conflict, picking a battle that's not necessary, making something big out of a small battle, like making, um, it's sort of like blowing up a small issue or a small competition. It's sort of like, um, someone was maybe having a bit of bitchy banter with you and it turns into World War Three, or you're taking this person more seriously than you should. They're kind of, um, they're kind of a jester, they're kind of a clown and you're taking them as a serious threat is what I'm thinking. May also be that you're suspecting the wrong person. Um, you feel like something's off, you're maybe putting it in the wrong direction. I do feel like someone has been um, someone does, there is someone around you that has an ulterior motive, um, or a jealousy issue, or there's something up about this, we'll know more as we go around, I do feel like there's someone in your environment that isn't quite playing ball, but I don't think you should hand your power away, that's what I'm saying, don't hand away your power, and don't let interference, um, yeah, you're not seeing eye to eye with somebody, there's definitely a deadlock between you and someone else. But as I said before, don't give your power away to this person. I think there may be someone who is deliberately provoking you. And you're better off withholding the reaction. That's what I see. Because I think you might be brewing a little bit of a an angry storm within. And you need to release it, Capricorn. But release it privately. Okay. Let's see. The devil's come up underneath again, so there's something about there is someone around you that's not quite right. Could be a water sign. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Let me see. Crossed by the King of Wands. Okay, you may actually be misdirecting your anger towards a water sign that's designed for a fire sign. So you might be angry at a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, but really there's a fire sign problem. There's a Leo or an Aries or Sagittarius is playing tricks. I think this person's the problem. Um, it could be either or, of course, but there's a little bit of, I feel like there's misdirected anger is what I'm woo, led towards saying. Ten of Wands with the Ten of Swords. You've taken all you can take from this person. Um, there's also a, another earth sign in your midst. Could be a fellow Capricorn, could be a Virgo, or it could be a Taurus. Um, the other pentacles. Do you know what's funny what this actually looks like? It's like a, a group WhatsApp conversation. You know, like this little guy, it's like he's typing into his phone to all his friends and discussing, it's like, discussing like, um, every single thing that's going on with one person that you don't like or like there's somebody that's annoying you and you're trying to like dissect everything dissect messages that's what i'm sort of seeing this as chariot okay so there's actually going to be a movement after delays some of you may have been having car trouble or you may have had like um you had to get your car fixed or there's been delays there the chariot can sometimes mean a car it can represent like problems with the car when it comes up with the hanged man. Uh, it can be problems in travel or delays. But I think this is very much moving forward where there were once, um, where there was a lack of movement, basically. Definitely movement coming in after conflict. And I also feel like you're going to start to see the threats that you perceive differently is one thing that I'm getting here. The Page of Swords... And the King of Swords. Ah, Well, he's sitting nicely beside the Ten of Cups. It could be an air sign, it could be a Libra, it could be a Gemini, and it could be Aquarius. But there's a very lovely energy with this person. Um, maybe for those of you that are single, you may find love this month with an air sign. Um, for those of you that are involved with an air sign, your relationship may go to the next level. It may be more lovely, it may be more 
communicative, communicative. I feel like Mercury retrogrades happened in month 30, to be honest with my life right now. I can't get the words out that I want to say. But I do feel like there's a very lovely energy coming in towards the end of July, Capricorn, surrounding this person. Um, as I say, if you don't have this person, I think they're coming in. I think this is a relationship that you can build upon. I think this is something you can work with. Now, for those of you that are involved with someone that's not an air sign, and you're like, no, um, this can be moon or rising or Venus, um, Mars, etc. So they could be moon rising in Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. So it could be something like that. It could just be someone that's very intellectual, uses their head above their heart. They're not wildly demonstrative. They're not overtly romantic. Um, could be that. So if you're dealing with an air sign, I don't think the air sign's a problem. Similarly, if you're dealing with a water sign, I don't think it's a water sign. I think you guys are getting some grief from a fire sign. Um, sort of a pesky little fellow because he's crossing you twice. The page is crossing you and then the king is crossing you. This can be a man or a woman. It could be somebody younger. Um, and it could be somebody with wands that can mean work, but this can also mean just in your immediate circle with the three of cups here. Someone's testing you and I feel a little bit like someone is possibly putting ideas in your head that aren't right. With the Seven of Swords, it is devious, it is deceptive, and I feel like there's a fire sign that's being a bit like that. Um, that's what I'm sort of led to believe here. I almost feel like some of you are having problems in the workplace. It may be with a boss that's piling on too much work for you, or it may be that some of you have come out of a relationship that was very heavy, and you're feeling this very, very heavy energy. If that's the case, your romantic life is about to transform dramatically, like move on leaps and bounds. But you're, um, there's definitely someone around you that's being a bit of a, a bit of a devil. Let's put it that way. But they are not as scary <clears throat> or as influential as they seem. That's what I want you to take from this reading, Capricorn. Don't hand your power away to someone who's trying to trick you or someone who's trying to manipulate you into being insecure. And as it's the devil, um, <laughs> I have to say to you, that person could be yourself. You could be tricking yourself into feeling insecure. Um, see how it went dark when I just said that? Plunged into darkness. Um, it's It sort of seems to me like it's either a person in your workplace, in your environment that's cheating you a little bit with information that's possibly not true or it is you denying yourself through your own perception of self let's see yeah don't be concentrating on the what's going wrong this month instead of what's going right there's great love being offered to you this month but you're crying over this uh you may be crying or wishing for someone that really really hurt you if you have someone in your life that did this, don't be wishing them back and don't be spending too much time mourning the loss of someone that you really don't want. And I see a lot in the comments, people waiting for their cheating husbands to come back. And if it, when someone new and amazing that actually could make you happy presents yourself, why wait on this? Yeah. The Five of Cups to me is just the epitome of someone that will take back what made them unhappy to begin with and ignore what's actually giving them the power to transform. And from an objective perspective, you could always, you know, see it as don't go back to what makes you unhappy. And some people do. It's crossed by the Three of Wands, Three of Wands. So there is a reluctance to make a concrete decision. If you are dealing with someone from the past that has hurt you, I feel like there is a lack of moving forward with this. If it's in the workplace, there is a lack of the end being in sight. If there's a domineering boss that keeps piling things on you, or you feel like the responsibility of where you work is all resting on your shoulders, uh, you're feeling like the end's not in sight with that as we go into July. There's definitely jealousy surrounding you though for somebody. Not necessarily a romantic or sexual jealousy but a need from somebody in your life to want to put you down or put you in your place it's almost like it's almost like someone that insults you with a smile is what i'm getting here 
but there's definitely going to be a bit of a an emotional rebirth this month. I feel particularly for Capricorns, June wasn't so great. Um, and I feel like you're actually having a nice relationship with yourself this month. Like you're getting this rebirth and feeling a lot more self-confident, feeling a lot more um, emotionally calm because you've done the looking for answers and you're doing the transformation. Just don't, don't, don't let fire signs get on top of you this month. They may be the ones that are really irking you, like really getting under your skin. It could just be someone that's very outspoken, someone that's very loud and someone who doesn't have a, they're lacking a sensitivity chip is what I'm saying for this person. Some. Some of you are dealing with long distance love because the three of swords and the eight of wands can sometimes symbolize long distance. Similarly, it can indicate a third party situation with competitors that you may have just come out of or just be in. Um, it's up there with the five of wands. This is unexpected. Uh, the tower card, everyone's scared of it. It's, do you know what it is? I feel like this, um, he's coming up with the king of swords here and the ten of cups. So it's like this, get this happily ever after with this air sign and then you get this tower card. But don't fear. Um, I think in terms of this relationship, there was something about this that just couldn't work as it was. And you've had to have either a very scary conversation that you felt was really testing the relationship or you're, you've gone into a period that's very testing. Um, and you may have to change things up a little bit. Everyone's very, very scared of the tower, but it's not that scary. I explained this in the Pisces reading. Um, this relationship card, when it comes up as a relationship, and I do feel like this is a relationship, possibly with an air sign, a lot of the times it can be, yes, sometimes it can be a breakup of something that seemed very perfect, but the tower is not really a final card because you can break it down and rebuild it. It's not like anyone, it's not like the death card. Nobody's died, you know? Um, this is actually maybe that you have been in a relationship where there was something that just couldn't work and you've had to have a conversation and start over. You may have been on a break with this person and you reunite. If you reunite, the success depends completely on whether or not you've had an actual conversation and changed things around. Don't go into this relationship blindly, okay? If there are problems, meet them. Um, have a strategy. You know, Capricorns that I know always have a strategy. They always have a way of dealing with things. But with love, sometimes you can dander in blindly because you want it to work. Now, I feel very much like this is something that could work. The problem is you may be going into this without either the confidence required or the tools that you need to make it work. Now underneath, ironically, six of wands, success. Okay, victor. Um, I'm gonna draw a clarifying card because I feel like Capricorn's a very worrying sign. Like they worry a lot. So I think people <laughs> are probably a bit scared of this. Um, I mean, when you see the 10 of cups go to the world, you're like, no. I don't see it that way. So we'll see. Six of Wands. <laughs> Let's come out again. Okay, this is a victory. This is crumbling false foundations for the better, okay? Um, you may, yeah, there's Page of Cups underneath as well, a romantic offer. So some of you may go through a break period in July. Um, you may be feeling like there's a make or break period with relationships. You might have a really particularly bad argument. Um, as I said, pick and choose your battles. I think some of you are just gonna go gung-ho and <laughs> shout at someone full force because you've like built up all this anger i did say in the last reading if you have something don't sit on it and let it foster and foster and foster and foster because you're just gonna get angry 
Now, with the outcome, I do feel like there may be an argument. Um, the, you may you may feel like your relationship's over if you're in one, or you may feel like you've blown your chance with someone that's really really nice. You've not okay, like that's it's just not. You've not wrecked it. It's not over. Um, the energies of what happens in July, it's all about making sure you don't get a false start. I do feel like for some of you, you've been in relationships that are lovely people, but there's something about it's not right. Like you can't, you know, circumstances wise aren't perfect. But I do feel like you guys are actually going to make things work this month after maybe a bit of an explosive argument. Um, some of you may be going through a period by yourself in general to find answers or try dating new people. Some of you are giving dating a break because it has been dramatic. But I feel for the most part, Capricorn, you're going to be meeting somebody this month or you're with somebody who's actually very nice. And this is going to be something that can be successful if you um, accept the flaws. Okay, so there's going to be flaws that are going to present themselves. There's going to be people that are trying to irk you. But just know that you're, if you're in a relationship, it seems to be stronger than that. And if it's not, and it does crumble with the tarot card and you don't see an end in sight, there's something better coming forward. But I feel like anyone that has splits this month are probably going to be temporary. Um, but you have to make sure that you're moving forward on the same page. That's what I'm getting. It's all about finding the little bit that's not working and making it work. As I said, they also, the um, before I lose my voice, the person <laughs> that's annoying you so much, they're honestly like this small. Just you're, you're the devil. You can take them. Release your inner devil, but don't do it on the nice people because that will end in an argument. Um, yeah, if someone's pissing you off, just be the devil. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed that reading Capricorn I will see you in August bye